we gotta do simplex now. Woohoo! Um, redneck here doing some callouts, you know, all that fun stuff. Um, simplex, probably one of my more favorite maps. Um, not as much so anymore with the release of Onyx. So I really, really feel like Simplex and Onyx take each other's places, and they can actually get rid of Simplex for the better Onyx. And which actually, okay, we'll call it right now, guys. We all know the pit's coming out here in August sometime with the new map pack or whatever. Assuming Vertigo is just not God's gift from heaven, like the pit practically is, um, I'm going to go ahead and call it that Onyx takes over Simplex's role and Team Slayer and Flag, and Pit comes in as a big Team Slayer map. Or Pit is going to take Simplex's place in Team Slayer and Flag. Um, I'd like to see either Simplex, preferably Simplex, um, because I like Onyx more than Simplex. Um, I would like to see them, you know, kind of shuffled. But... That's assuming they stick with 11 game types, and they don't have the need to have, you know, all three game types on the pit, which I'm sure a lot of people would actually like to see. I don't know how Extraction would play on the pit, but, uh, I'm sure people would like to see the pit as much as possible. And I would too, I'd like to see it, I'd like to see the pit back, you know. I'm not, like, begging them to bring the pit back, uh, I have other maps I'd like to see before the pit brought back. But anyways, Simplex. Getting off topic here. Simplex, Simplex, Simplex. Uh, we got Capture the Flag and Team Slayer. Um, we're going to go over Capture the Flag settings just so you guys can see where the flag's going to be at. It's going to be on top of this box. Um, you know, there's no red flag because so there's no red team. But anyways. Um, yeah, so we got uh, Blue Flag, Blue Objective, Top Blue. You can even call this Blue 2. Um, I don't really hear the Blue 2 call out too often. But, you know, Top Blue or Blue Flag is the, the big ones I hear. Um, these little boxes, um, pretty much you just, oh crap, didn't want to do that. Um, but the boxes you can pretty much call, you you call them out based on what color you're at and what color of the map they're, side of the map they're on. I mean, that is like, this is yellow base over there, so I'm on blue base. This is blue yellow box, um, or blue perp box, or blue P box. I actually hear the P call out for purple more than I hear purple nowadays outside of the brigade, so I'm wondering if just the people I'm playing with or whatever but that's purple base um yellow or gold base and red base is across from me across from us um one jump you guys I mean I probably should do this this is a popular jump right off the bat um yeah learn how to do that little sprint jump it's not very difficult um it takes a little bit of practice but this OS is super super important on this map especially in flag and you can get an early flag cap within 30 seconds if you got this OS and you guys know if people will actually work together Pushing out again, we got blue base. Um, over here we got blue cut. Um, we have an assault rifle, unfortunately. Part of blue cut. Uh, back here we got back blue, and this right here is gonna be bottom blue, right there. Um, again, still part of black back blue. I'm um, up here to blue needles. Um, there used to be a needle that spawned right here. It's a bolt shot now, um, but we're going to use the needler call out because that's what a lot of people are familiar with. Um, Kind of like the same idea with the nades on Haven, how I explained that call out. Um, this is very similar to theory. And then here we got blue yellow or blue gold, um, you know, blue base, yellow base, kind of area in between. Um, so pushing up here, we got blue side of yellow base, or not yellow base, um, of yellow or gold. Um, bottom gold, top gold, top yellow, you know, gold and yellow, same idea. The bottom yellow, um, red yellow, what I'm shooting into. We're going to go this way, though. Um, across here, we got Yellow Bridge. Um, honestly, I don't see why you just call this bridge, because there's only one bridge on this map. But Yellow Bridge, um, dropping down Front Yellow, or Yellow Court, and that Yellow Pillar. Um, that's where the Needler ended up. Dark Knight. Needler. Just point that out again. Needler, Dark Knight. Um, in case you ever want it. Down here, we got Scatter Shot. I keep seeing more of these Scatter Shots, and it's really frustrating, because I really don't like them. Um, I don't even know why I picked it up. I usually just ignore it, but uh, I picked it up for some reason. Um, pushing out here, we got uh, again bottom mid. Um, yes, there are green markings, but if you call it, if you guys call this green, I will have Callisto dishonorably discharge you. Um, it's been done before. I'm just kidding, just kidding. I won't, but um, call it mid. Mid are much more popular callouts. So bottom mid, bottom middle, bottom mid map. Not bottom green. 
um, here we got purple cord or front purple um, front blue it's gonna be this whole area in front of here um here we got the jump ups so blue jump or blue front jump I should say um, we again that little jump learn that jump it's important and you can't exactly do it going back uh, towards blue base oh crap I missed that one but uh you can land um, if you sprint jump from top mid, you can land on those little indentations right there. And from those indentations, uh, it is a simple crouch jump up to the top of the box. Um, I just want to point that out there to you guys. I do see that they fixed that. Okay. So for all you V3 glitchers, um, you can no longer pull flag from bottom base because they put those in there. But don't try it. It's not going to help you. Um, Going this way, we got purple base. Um, with purple base, originally I used to say think of purple base as pink base off midship, but we got a midship map, so I don't have to say that anymore. Railgun is going to spawn bottom perp now. It used to spawn top perp with some of the older versions. It's bottom perp now. Um, so we got bottom perp. This is blue sided perp. I call this the bubble. Um, this little class like expanded thingy right here. I call this the bubble. Um, they added these in top perp. Um, kind of give you a really big height advantage now. Um, it's really hard. You can kind of head glitch a little bit right here. You sneak out and shoot a shot and get shots. Um, purple again, jumping here to top mid. Um, it's this whole area, again, OS. Two minutes from when you touch it, call them out. Um, pushing this way now. With some plex, it, it, this is where I think Solot kind of messed this map up just a little bit. I'm surprised he's never fixed it. I don't even know if he realizes this, but um, over here we have red needles. Now, if you remember right, guys, right where I'm looking at right there, um, on, over by blue purple, that was blue cut. Um, the bases, like the, the, the team color bases, red and blue, are actually flip flopped from each other relative to how purple and yellow are laid out. Um, which I think is a big mistake. Um, I, I don't, it really hasn't affected gameplay, at least I don't think. Um, whether red is a, a dot more dominant side to go to purple or blue is more dominant side to go to purple or whatever. But it's no longer symmetrical. Um, so I guess you could say this is actually an asymmetrical map. Um, if you really think about it, um, it is an asymmetrical map, as minor as it may seem. Um, so I guess we do get another one, but it plays capture flag, and it really it plays it well, honestly, so I wouldn't have to worry. It's not that big of a, a complaint or discrepancy where it affects gameplay. But it is a flaw in the map, I think, or a mistake in the map. But uh, anyways, red needles back here. We got back red, you know, back red, bottom red. Um, so over here we got red cut, and you know, again across from us is a uh, oh wow, across from us is a uh, what you call it? Can't think of it. Can't think of it. Can't think of it. Blue needles. That's what I was looking for. Couldn't think of it right there. Um, but other than that, red base is going to be the same clouds as blue base. Um, so, blue perp box, blue yellow box, front jump, flag. Flag's going to be right here. Um, they did have these ramps, which I really don't like. Um, which I think, like, if you're sprinting, ooh, nope, I didn't get air. But uh, I don't see what's wrong with just jumping up there and capping the flag. Why we need a box? Um, people just need to learn how to time when to jump and when to land right in the center. It's not that big. It's not that difficult, honestly. Um, so, I think that's Simplex. On um, other additions to the map, um, I didn't know about this one. But uh, you can get back here on top of these things. Um, kind of a very useful area. Other crazy things you can do. Sprint jump up here to top yellow. Ooh, just made it. Um, and I think you can make this, we're going to at least attempt to do this. Yep, you can go up there. Um, I didn't make it there, but I have seen people get up on top. Right there. Um, and I'm assuming you jump from those little cubby thingies. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you this. Those are the cubbies, kind of where I'm supposed to be trying to shoot all this melee. Um, it's like red, red, blue cubby. Like, honestly, like, oh, he's in yellow base, you know. We'll see my teammates calling my, oh, Mike, he's in the cubby. Okay, so I'll just look here. You know, he's got to be able to react to that stuff. Um, you know, good teamwork, stuff like that. Um, okay, going over the spawning on this map. With Capture the Flag, um, 
basically there's a spawn area you get there are bases per se extended bases or whatever basically you draw a line from purple where this thing's going to nail about right there on center of purple through the mid, mid map over here to yellow um basically draw a line think of that as midfield anything over here towards blue base is going to be blue spawns anything towards red is going to be red base spawns um it is a static system for capture the flag so you know if your team is controlling top mid and maybe say one top mid one top purple and everyone's pushing to blue flag because you guys do blue purple um expect if you're a red team to be spawning well, it was, would be on red side exactly, but you're going to spawn, you know, away from where they're pushing through, or if they're pulling flag out that way, you're going to spawn here. Um, so you can can try and kind of control spawns um, and create spawn traps and spawn kills. Um, that's really what capture flag is about: is creating spawn kills, um, so you can get that flag out and keep them down. Um, same works with red. Uh, the difference is in Team Slayer, there are no uh, static spawning systems in Team Slayer on any map, unfortunately. Hopefully with the pit, they'll change that, but on topic anyway. Um, it's dynamic spawning on Team Slayer on this map. So let's say all of blue team controls purple. Red team can spawn anywhere on red base, yellow, or blue. Um, a lot of the times, if you say there's some blue members around purple and blue, you're going to see a lot of back red spawns and red yellow spawns and maybe some like bottom yellow spawns i don't know if there's bottom yellow spawns or not but you're gonna see spawns you know across the map the farthest away possible from i think that's how the the algorithm is written is you spawn the furthest distance away from the average distance of the enemy team so there's the average location of the enemy team and it's gonna be the furthest spot the furthest spawn point away from that location um i think that's how it's written Pretty sure that's how it's written. But anyways, I don't want to make this thing too long. Um, this is Simplex. Um, pretty good map. Pretty good map. Very solid map. Um, so I think I only got a couple more to do. I'm going to crank these out real quick before I go.